good, a good camp practice. The guys really like got locked in uh, and focused on trying to improve and uh, competed a lot of ones against ones today. And it was good to see the competition. That's how you get better. What questions you have? John, having Kyle and Noy from the beginning this year, what, what kind of difference does that bring as far as just leadership in, in, in a position group uh, where he's definitely the event here? No question. Uh, Kyle has definitely, I think he's enjoyed being here from the beginning. I mean, you know, you come in once the season's begun and just kind of trying to play catch up with the, with, the, with the defensive scheme, but also with the relationships. Now he's one of the guys. Everybody knows him, respects him. He's definitely a leader. Knows the defense very well and uh, practicing hard every day. So it should, should be a plus for us. John, in regards to Chuck Smith having him last season, definitely improved your pass rush. Never fear uh, in that position. As pass rush coach, more specifically, just with his specialty being in that avenue, just how much is that beneficial for you? You know, it's kind of a unique way to do it. And Chuck, Chuck's an all-around football coach. You know, he, can coach he coaches every part of the position. Uh, he's all, he was a pass rusher as a player, one of, one of the all-time great pass rushers, and then kind of took that on as a as a some, as a obsession almost. I would say. And he's become one one of the maybe the best foremost pass rushing coach in the business. I feel like. So to have him here with our guys, I mean, it speaks a lot to to what you know the way the guys are building into his style and what he teaches. And I know they love it. They love learning from him. So let's see where things was good last year. John, along those lines, how much did Chuck contribute to the uh, decision to get a Isaac in like this draft? Yeah, Chuck was part of that for sure. I mean, he's looking at all the pass rushers and all the, all the traits of those outside backers generally. So he had a big influence here. Coach, Don't. Tampa and um, Bateman were back in practicing. So we're easing it back in to the flow of the spaceship. Yeah, they, they always have a, a sort of a ramp up plan that we uh, try to abide by and follow, and those guys are on that. Uh, it was good to see him back up. John, John what's up? Kyle Hamilton, the very beginning to work on the train. Do you have an update on him and what kind of your plan for him the next two weeks? So. Right, well, yeah, it'd be kind of ramping back a little bit. He's uh, he's good. You know, it's uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a minor, a spr I'd say a sprain. And so we got out there and moved around a little bit today and we're just kind of progressing each day a little more. Yeah, they're going. Kind of saw uh, Rashad just take that one rep in, in the one on ones. Is it just Who's a that? Rashad, David? Um, is it just a matter of a pain issue, more of an injury thing, working his way back from? Yeah. Do we really need to get into all that no. specifically? Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be okay. He'll be fine. He's trying, he's trying to get himself out there and, yeah. and as much as he can. He'll be out there soon. Our Darius Washington had a couple of really good practices in a row. Um, coaches have spoken very highly of him over the last season and a half or so. Um, talk about what you've seen in his development over the last little bit. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Darius and I had a conversation today in my office, and it was a good one. It wasn't called to the principal's office. It was just to kind of talk about his vision for the season, what he thought uh, he could accomplish. And he's playing at a high level. You saw it today. He's playing both safety positions. He's playing the nickel. And he could play the, he could play the corner outside if he had to. You got to get you out of the game, and he could go in a dime if he had to. He knows the defense that well. Uh, his style is, uh, is pretty much uh, patented. That's his style, the way he plays. Uh, I think it's a style worthy of anybody, so uh, very glad he's on the team. John, if you could boil down what it is about Josh Johnson that's kind of earned your confidence over the years, what what is it? Yeah, I mean Josh Johnson's a vet. He's a pro. Uh, he's he's you know, he's played in games. He's played he's played good football in games. Hadn't been a lot, but he's played good football in games. He's got to run our offense well. We uh, we love Josh. What is that grandpa playbook like? Like to see him in preseason. I would love to see him in preseason. It's just going to depend on the, you know, his ability to do it with the, uh, the recovery from the end. bilateral uh, sports hernia surgery. So uh, I think he got a good shot. We just have to see how it comes along the next week or so. Hey, coach, on the tight end position, how do you see Karim Ismail evolving in the passing and blocking game? You know, uh, he's kind of a surprise as a blocker and the physicality. We saw it out there today. He's 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 definitely a player. NFL player and coach's kid. I mean, he's tough. He's not afraid. He throws it in there and plays bigger than his size. And you know, I think he's doing a good job. As you've reached this point at training camp, you know, several weeks in, how have you kind of seen the team come together around this, the vision that you set out at the start of this and, and building around that? You say that again, it's a complicated question. You say. <laughs> yeah. I lost, I lost, I lost you there. <laughs> Just how, how has the team kind of come together around the vision that you set out at, at the start? Well, how the teams come together around the vision—that um, is kind of a complicated question. <laughs> I would say very well, you know. And I, I, 
I think the vision, what you become as a football team, uh, is, is a product of uh, the people who do it and what they do. You know, what happens every day and things and challenges that you have and the obstacles you have to overcome and, and how you approach those things. And if you want to keep fighting and keep getting back up and, uh, and never quit, then, you know, it's, it's, it's not, the fight's not over until you say it is, no matter what happens. And uh, that's, you know, that's, that's a big statement, but camp's a little bit like that. You know, you got to keep going back every day and come out and grind and, and try to become better. You become a better player, a better team every day, and I think our guys are doing that, and that's where the task is here right now. John, um, our Gary has had another nice practice today. He's really had a, a lot of them throughout camp. How significant, you know, is obviously just one is being healthy and then obviously his development in terms of the secondary, especially with Arthur dealing with the knee and some other things. Yes, Our Darius, it, how, how significant is it having him out there and seeing him making plays? Oh. Yeah. oh, the same question you asked. All right. <laughs> it's very significant. Sorry. He's playing very well, and he, I would just say, yes. I mean, you're right. I mean, it's great to have him out there. He's been hurt. Right. He's not. He's, he's healthy. And I think he's fulfilling what we always hoped he would do. And I, expect, I really expect him to have a big year. I think he's going to play great football for us. So it's a, it's a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. Do two more. Did uh, Lamar get the answer that he wanted when he showed the rest of the iPad of the? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. It's a great question. Well, that's the best question of the day. Right <laughs> Should we end it on that? Uh, all right. That'd be nice. <laughs> you don't have me for two more days, so it's probably. <laughs> yeah. I think I need a break. Yeah. <laughs>